So for this chemical equation, I've added everything up except the oxygens. I like to do those last. So here I have two oxygen, and over here I have two oxygens. But I need to also count this one here. So two plus the one, that'll give me a total of three oxygens on the product side. Now let's balance the carbons and hydrogens, and again, leave the oxygens to last. Six carbons here. If I put a six in front, six times one, that'll give me six carbons. That's balanced. Six hydrogens here, two here. Put a three, because three times two, that'll give us six, and the hydrogens will be balanced. Now we need to deal with the oxygens, and since we've changed these coefficients, we have to add our oxygens up again. We have six times two, 12 oxygens, plus three times the one, three there, and that gives us 15. So now we have 15 oxygens on the product side and two on the reactant. The trick here is let's multiply it by 15 over two. And when we do that, two times 15 is 30 divided by two, that'll give us 15. So now we have 15 oxygens here and 15 here. So let's put our 15 over two on this side of the equation. And we're done balancing the equation. If you want, you can multiply all of your coefficients by two, and that'll give you only whole numbers. So I could put a two in front here. I would have 15 here. Two times six is 12, and two times three is six. So if I wanted to have whole number coefficients, I would have two, 15, 12, and six. And that's the balanced equation for C6H6 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.